space, what we're going to discuss is talking about how you link, use LinkedIn to grow your business. So welcome. Okay, so my name is Kay Ridge. Um, I'm the faculty member of the Hot and Healthy in Business. Um, I'm the Lions Australia um, Quadrant 3 PR and Marketing Chairperson looking after 72 associations. I have a 25 year career in sales and marketing, logistics, government insurance and small business. I'd like to welcome to country. We acknowledge the traditional owners of country throughout Australia and New Zealand. We recognise their continuing connection to land, waters and culture. Um, this is an ASBAS program, so welcome everybody. Let's get started and get you on. So let's look at why LinkedIn. Now, we've all heard of LinkedIn and it's a great platform, but why is it a great pla pla bleh, platform? Basically, it's effectively used for small business. It has 8 million users in Australia and 97% of business-to-business -business marketers are on LinkedIn. So what does it cost? Well, a basic account is free. For a premium account, it's $60 per month. And there's some things that you get in regards to that. For example, with a premium account, um, there's a lot of special things that you get that I'll go through and explain with you. Let me just go back one minute because I've missed my notes aren't coming up. Why aren't you coming up? Hang on. Okay, for 60% a month, you actually end up having what they call 15 in-mail credits. So what that means is that you can send an email to somebody that doesn't have a premium account, and if they join up for premium, you get your credit back. It also allows you to do things, and I'll go through and explain to you further on, but see who's been looking at your profile and things like that. So 15 in-mail messages per month, unlimited searches, and you can see who has looked at your profile. And this is what it looks like when somebody looks at your profile. So this was mine yesterday, and 97 viewers have looked at my profile in the past 90 days. So what that allows me to do is go back to those people and say, look, I noticed that you were looking at my profile. Is there something I may help you with? It's actually a lead. It's used and should be used as a lead. So how do I grow my business with LinkedIn? Any suggestions? Got the chat up here, so chat away. How do you think you can grow your business on LinkedIn? No, nope, we're all shy this morning or this afternoon. All right, well, there's some way. The first thing that you need to do is set up your profile correctly. So LinkedIn images receive 98% better comment rate Posts with links receive a 200% higher engagement rate and Google uses this information from your profile. So what that means is that when somebody is searching for you, they will actually look um, for keywords. For example, that might be your first name and last name. It may be uh, keywords relating to your industry and they'll search for those sorts of things. All right. So yes, you're right, Lucy, post is one of them. But before you even look at doing posts, we've got to make sure that your LinkedIn profile is correct, which is what we're going to go through first. So hold on, and then we're going to go through and have a look. And if we have enough time, we'll go through it twice. So how should your headshot look? Look, your profile is the largest piece of real estate. The first part that's got your banner and your profile and your headline is what we should be using. That's what drags the reader in to want to know more. So choose a profile that looks like you. The face should take up 60% of the frame and be smart and be welcoming and choose a background that is not distracting. So here's a couple for you to have a look at here where you can see different profiles. There's me there. Um, again, you know, a lighter, darker background, just something that's not going to be distracting. 
So people will uh, 11 times increase in views by including a photo, that's your profile. 41, and keep in mind, 41% of LinkedIn visits are by mobile, and one out of three professionals are on LinkedIn. So this is the platform we use. And the way that I like to describe it to you in regards to the platforms that are used, and I'm sorry if you missed my session yesterday, which is about how it all fits together. But basically, if you look at Instagram, Instagram tells a story through pictures. If you look at Facebook, it tells the story through being social. It's about feelings and warmth, etc. LinkedIn is business. LinkedIn doesn't care about what you had to eat. Doesn't, although we are very prone on branding, it's more about business to business and showing your credibility. That's what LinkedIn's about. So now let's have a look at your real estate, your banner. This shows you what you do and should give a call to action. So this is my one. Basically, I've said here, you're running out of time. Call me for your marketing. That is my marketing. That is my call to action. Or in times where there is a lot going on and there's a lot of noise in social media, simply putting down what I do. I teach people how, how to use social media. Keep those comments coming because I can see the chat as we go along and I have allowed time for it. So let's look about who you are. Your headline supports your credibility. It is 120 characters or less and it's what we call your elevator pitch. So for me, it's I say small business and developing marketing strategies so they get notified. I'm a qualified social media and marketing advisor. I'm the founder for Dash Social, an industry leader, a LinkedIn educator, and a blog writer. And I'm also in Brisbane. So what we want to know here is who you are. So here we have here. So here's another one that I've got. You're running out of time. Call me for your marketing. So it goes to show you what I'm doing. Your about section. This is where you, the place you, you offer your biggest value proposition, which sets you apart from your competitors. Offer something for free. Think about it. Your LinkedIn profile is like your office. And if somebody visited your office, you'd greet them, share small talk, and you'd like to ask them if they would like a coffee. This is a digital equivalent of that. It also is a good idea from a psychological standpoint to offer something before mentioning your services, like an online coffee, template, checklist, free course, access, a webinar series, etc. And use a tracking code or custom code to redeem it. So you know who's looked at it for you. So all of the about section is about creating the credibility for your job, putting things like your name spelt differently so that you can be found through Google, Place a bit in there that says, get to know me, and a call to action. All right, put in there, you know, would you like a cup of coffee? Um, select a time and I'll, if we're during COVID, let's zoom and have a cup and get to know each other a little bit better from a business point of view. Here's another little fun fact for you. 64%. LinkedIn is responsible for 64% of all visits to corporate websites. And 80% of LinkedIn members connect with companies to enhance decision making. 50% of LinkedIn mem members are more likely to purchase from a company they engage from LinkedIn. Because LinkedIn, again, is all about your credibility. So here we've got mine to give you another example. And please, um, at the end, I put in my LinkedIn profile. Please connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, you can also use my profile then when I update it, etc., to see what is going on. My suggestion is that you keep it fresh. You update it. I update mine about once every four to six weeks. Um, like for at the moment, I've now got Get to Know Me, if you'd like a chat. If you have a look now, I've even changed it since this one. So what else should you be putting on your LinkedIn profile? The more bulk you can put on your LinkedIn profile, the better. So you should have featured articles, your activity and your posts that you put in, your experience, volunteer rates high in regards to Google, license and certifications, education, skills and endorsements, recommendations, ask for recommendations. They are your credibility. And the simple reason for that is I can write to you and say, would you please give me a recommendation? You can send it back. I either accept it or reject it. I can't change it. 
Make sure also that you've put awards, courses, projects and interests in. And most importantly, when you can put in your rich media, which is your, um, your post, your images and, and your videos. Profile is complete now. So what now? Okay, we've done everything that you've said, Kay. What do we do now? Well, here's what we do. LinkedIn is important for business, your business to business marketing platform. All right, is the key to optimize your B2D platform. LinkedIn provides an opportunity to reach a professional audience, acquire new leads and contacts, rank higher and promote your business, which is what we're after. We need to now set up a company page. Now remember, your personal profile must be older than seven days to set up a company profile. Your personal information must match the information of the company page, and you can only have one company page live at a time. Your company page will allow you to be visible, match personal and company information, and company pages must have a company email address for it to work. Your page purpose, well, why have a page? Well, it's simple, your page purpose will be your LinkedIn page primarily serves as a source of industry news, a place to share company culture and educational resources for those growing in your field. And it develops a persona and key demographic to which you tailor your content. So LinkedIn also have a content suggestion tool, which is used to discover trending topics and help generate relevant content for your audience to engage. So it's ensure that you have a designated administration access to others, not just yourself. Keep your images up to date. Determine your page purpose and share content and engage with followers. You don't always have to create original content. Share content from others. It's one of the best possible things that you can do. Here's some more LinkedIn fun facts for you. 30% completed company pages get 30% more views. 41% of LinkedIn visits are by mobile and one out of three professionals are on LinkedIn. Now, now let's look at how you can optimize your ranking in LinkedIn searches. So what happens in LinkedIn is that Google comes along with its algorithms, its robots, whatever you have a lot for, and it searches for keywords related to you and your industry. And in this scenario, so what we would do is we would ensure that your profile is keyword rich profile. It'll include your website URL, which encourages users, users to share your posts that include links. All right. Again, anything that has a backlink to your website, a, um, a link to a government body, anything like that, Google rates higher. And it also creates thought leadership posts. So once we have your profile, we now have a look at your company page and your company page is set up. Now, somebody can follow your company page and not uh, connect with you on LinkedIn. That's okay. They're looking at what you do from a company perspective. So now what you do is that you have the opportunity to create up to 12 showcase pages. And they're kind of like your, your company pages, your shop front, and now you're looking at your catalog or what you sit at your shop at the front of the store for everybody to see. So you use showcase pages as there are niche pages that branch off from your main LinkedIn company page. They're more personalized experience view connections by allowing you to provide individual products, individual services at a time or catered to specific marketing personas. LinkedIn users, as I mentioned, can follow product specific showcase pages without following the main company page. And there are a few main differences between company and showcase pages. For example, showcase pages have no large hero image at the top of the banner. There's none of that. All right. They are a two, showcase pages have a two column layout for content posts as opposed to the single column blog post layout for company pages. 
all showcase pages linked directly back to the company page. So all additional pages are centralized around your main page. So let's now have a look at your network and how we build from that. At the end of this, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through and show you my profile and what we can do then. But you can build your connections. Now, you can build up to a $30,000 30, connections maximum. You can connect with individual industry leaders. I'm all tongue-tied today, sorry. And you can use the search bar. Remember, when sending a connection request, use the word because. For example, I would like to connect because I find that you and I have a lot in common or I find that you and I are both in the same industry because I really appreciate what you have to say as an industry leader. If you put in the word because, you will find that there is a 55% increase in your conversion of connections. So let's recap before I go in and I have a look at my profile. So we looked at your LinkedIn profile. So we need to make sure that everything in your LinkedIn profile you have, and at the top, and I'll go through it when I go through my profile, but you need to fill out every single step, all right? You do a company page. That details everything about your company page. And what I mean by that, a company page is an organization page. You don't have to be a proprietary limited company, but you do offer something. You will have a business name. So that's your business page. And off that, you can offer 12 showcase pages. You can have more than one business name as well. And of those, you can have up to 12 showcase pages. This is how you grow your connections. All right. Any number from zero to nine for a timer. So find the magic and fun of presenting with Canva presentation. I don't know why I put that on there. Let's carry on. So one of the things that I suggest to you is let's look at a free giveaway. And this is something that I'm going to offer to you today. So here is my LinkedIn profile. Connect with me. Say that you've been on this, um, on this video. And what I will do is I will send you something special because you've connected with me today. That's all you have to do, all right? So what we're now going to do is that we're going to go through, have a look at my, um, my page. All right, this is what I'm gonna offer you, the free LinkedIn Blueprint Worksheet. All right, so thank you. Before I go on to my page, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to ask for questions and clarifications and don't hesitate to get in touch. So I'm just gonna open up the chat because there's a few of you, what I would like you to do is actually um, write anything to me that you would like to know. I will stop sharing this page for now while I set up the other page. So hit me with it, what would you like to know? Oh, we're all shy today. Come on guys, you're on here for LinkedIn. What would you like to know? No? Okay, so what I will do, oh, eyes, ideas on what to post. Thank you, Lucy. What we'll go through, for, oh, we've got another, what is the next step after you connect? Is it okay to have, uh, right there, coming through. This is what I wanted to see. Okay, let's go through and I'll show you. And I'll bring up my profile and then I'll showcase it with you. Okay, let's start answering those questions first. And then um, I'll go through and I'll show you my profile. So Lucy, I'm going to suggest to you ideas on what to post simply this. It depends really on what industry you're on, but I'll show you what I do and what you share. And actually, let's go that way first. That might actually end up being a better way to go. Just share my screen with you. Okay, so here we have my screen here and this is my profile. Now, as I mentioned to you, I actually changed my banner. This is a bit at the top. 
about once every four to six weeks. So I've just changed it since I did that, um, that LinkedIn profile. You will see here as we go through, I'm put in here open to work simply because I'm in social media. So anybody that's looking for social media, I will contact them and say, look, I know that you're looking for a social media consultant. Have you ever considered going, you know, using a freelancer, which is what I am. That's why I've got that there. I make sure that because I'm married that I have uh, my birth name in the middle. That way it creates more connections for me. Oh, I've got somebody in QA as well. Bear with me. I'm just going to put up these questions as we go. so that I can see them. Um, this is becoming quite important in regards to your proposition where you need to put in now whether you're a, uh, if you care about being a she, her, a he, him, um, or if you prefer not to be called anything, quite a of the younger generation are, are looking at propositions now. I look in here, again, this is what I actually do. If we come down a little bit further, you can see who viewed my profile. So if I click in here and go who viewed my profile, you can see here on the graph what's happening. Now this tells me that when it's hitting at the top, I'm actually getting more views, which is not what I want. So from here, I can see the people that have been looking and searching and looking for me. So now what I will do is that I will go and I will start to connect with these people. All right, it's another lead generator for you. But let's go back for now and I'll go back to my profile. Make sure also that you have created your URL. You'll see at the top, I've got linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash kridge. Make sure that you've done your URL. Again, that helps Google find you. All right, our about section. This is where I've gone in and I've explained what I do. I talk originally in third person. This is for Google so that my name is mentioned. And then I talk in first person as well as the misspelling of my name. All right. And lastly, a call to action. We then go through and I'll show you this in a minute that we will talk about the featured and how you get the featured. It comes from the activity here. So if I go in to see all activity, which I've just clicked, This will show here all of the things that I've been doing. All I need to do if I want to put it in as being a feature, three dots at the top, come up here and put in, no, it's not going to allow me to do that because that's not mine. Blog and LinkedIn, I've already done this one, but I can click the three dots and I will be able to put copy link to post, all right? Or if we have another one here, um, let me go down. All right, if I want to put this, I think this one's already in. Yes, it's already in. I haven't got any at the moment that I can put in, I don't think. But that's where you find it. I'll have to do a new post to, to put it in. One of the other things that I wanted to show you, oh, the other thing while you're in here and you're looking at articles and documents, offer something for free. Your audience wants something for free. So in here, I've put in the blog that I write. I've put in traits of the most engaging B2B creator. Now, I didn't write this. LinkedIn wrote it, but I can share it. I'm not saying I wrote it. All right, again, I'm offering things for free. All right, a checklist. I'm getting the most out of your LinkedIn advertising campaign. LinkedIn pages, how to write the perfect update. All right, now, um, who was asking me? Let me just go back. Somebody was asking me about posts. Uh, Lucy, go on my website and have a look at this. It'll explain to you how to write the perfect post. All right, that would be my suggestion to you, what to do. So once you've written all your articles, free documents, etc., let's go back in and we have a look at my, view my profile again. Now you will notice at the top here, add section. You need to add all of these, all right? Your skills, like under my background, I've got work experience, education, license, volunteers, and my skills. Um, I have a skills section. I have an accomplishment. This is what I've done here, 
I didn't have all of these additional information that's required. And additional information, you can also request a recommendation. And please, if you're happy with today in this webinar, would you please give me a recommendation? The reason being, it helps my credibility to be able to do what I do and help you more. All right, we've had the about, we've gone through the activity. There's all my experience, education. You'll notice that when I've done education, where I can, I've actually put in an image. Again, this is about Google. This isn't about you, this is about Google. You've got an image in where you should have it and therefore you're going to rate higher. Now, a great thing to let you know, there are three Cambridges in the world. Two of them are in the US, one is a great artist and one is a real estate agent. I have managed to knock them both off to page two on Google because of the information and because I put my name on everything. I am my brand and so are you. So make sure that you're true to brand. If you're in the professional market, don't have Facebook where you're, you've shown doing something that you shouldn't be doing. Um, it doesn't match your brand and it shouldn't be how it is. Okay. Volunteer experience. Endorsements. If you're in a professional area where you can't have recommendation, get your colleagues to endorse you. Again, it's all about credibility. Different accomplishments, different courses. Now, here's another thing that I'd like to mention to you, Lucy, about ideas on what to post. Interest, whatever it has here. See, let's go in and have a look at Small Business Australia here. So I've brought up Small Business. I'm just going to look at one um, of what I can put in here that I would enjoy that somebody else has put. I can share all of these. Um, there's, yeah, that's New South Wales, that's not going to really help me. It's all small business, it's probably not the best one. So I'll go back, I'll go back to my profile. And actually, while I'm here, did you notice that when I hit me, you can see my company here and also my showcase pages. All right. So if we go back into someone here, let's see what Brene Brown, I, I like her, see what she has to say and see if there's something there that I can talk about. Um, so articles that I want to look at. She's got a lot of it, so let's see all her activity. Again, it's true. Um, not, yeah, no, I'm not going to find it. Oh, marbles. Do you remember marbles? Um, yeah, this is going to be more. So, but again, all we do here is share it. All right, so that's what I can show you there. All right, so what is the next step after you've made a connection? Well, the whole thing about social media, Chris, is social media is about selling the sizzle. It's up to you now, you've made the connection, sell, sell, the, sell the sausage. But be aware, never go straight in for the kill. If you connect with somebody, build a relationship first. Right, now there's a way that you can actually build a relationship as well. So if I go back to me, and let's say for example, I would like a Brisbane accountant that I'd like to do their profile for. So here I've, found, I've typed up the top Brisbane accountant. Here are, there's some accountants here. But what's really important is what's under the Simon Burke is these are common shared connections. So the first thing I'm going to do is contact one of those connections and say, hey, um, hey Tyson, I'm trying to get in touch with Simon Burke. I notice he's a connection of yours. Would you mind if I used your name? Uh, this is the reason why I'm trying to contact. He's not gonna say no. So go, sure, yep. So then I contact Simon Burke through LinkedIn and I'll say, hi, Hi, Simon. Um, Tyson suggested that I give you a call. I believe that I have something that will assist you in your business. Would you be free for a Zoom call, coffee, whatever it may be? Um, could you please let me know a date? He'll come back and go, yep, not a problem. How about 10 o'clock Friday? I then send a text back to or an email back to Tyson say, thanks very much. I'm actually meeting Simon on Friday. As a courtesy, go back to the person that's been your referral. 
all right? Now build the relationship, all right? And that's what you've got to do. I detest somebody that connects with me and within the first day they're trying to sell me something, I'll actually unconnect them. I'm not interested in that. LinkedIn is about building relationship. Nobody is going to buy anything from you until they trust you and they like you, right? People buy from people they like. So build that trust first. Think about the customer journey and what you need to do there. Uh, Stanley has asked, generally how often should one post or share? That's really like asking me how long is a piece of string. And the reason for that is if you could have all the time in the world and you did nothing but post, you should post three times a day. But none of us have that. I'm in social media and I don't have that. However, because it's my business, I post every day. I post a blog once a month. If you can only post in one medium, post in that media, medium constantly and do it well. All right, again, gauge, look at things, um, if we go home, one of the great things about being on um, LinkedIn Premium is I can have a look at where is my insight. See here when I went work, insights, I can click on here, and I can see how well my posts are doing and which posts are uh, engaging and which posts aren't. No, this isn't, this isn't the right one. This is about talent. I'm sorry about that. Wrong one. Insights. Come on, where are you? I will come back to you on it, guys. I'm trying to remember where it is. I haven't looked at it for a while but you can look to see which ones are, are going well. I guess the best one, oh, views of your post, here we are. Sorry, Matt is a hatter today. Um, and you can see on here who has viewed your post. All right. And that's what you can go back and, and talk to them about. Okay, what other questions do we have and how are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing very well on timing. We've spoken about what's the next step after you've made the connection. Can ask, is it okay to have a company page if you're a sole trader? Absolutely. Company page is America. Company page just means a business page. So 100%, you don't have to be registered to have a company page. It is a business page in Australia. All right. Um, I missed the first 15 minutes. How do I find my target market? Okay, Kessie, um, this is recorded and you'll get a copy of it. But in relation to finding your target market, um, can you type to me what industry you're in and I'll help you and I'll come back to you. Um, Alison has said, I've grown my business followers from 20 to 170 since April. Woo! -hoo! How do I go from followers to becoming a client? Give them something they need. Have a think about, grab a, grab a coffee, grab a wine at night, yeah, what, whatever you want to drink, and sit down and think how you're going to solve your customers' needs. What is the problem that they have that you can address that your competitors can't? All right? It might be simply that you're there. Build the relationship. Right? A little bit like Noah's Ark when... Um, no animals were coming. Build it and they will come. So build it. Build the rapport. Talk about what you're doing. Talk about customer experiences so that they can see it. How often to post on the company page? Sometimes I will post um, something that I put on my personal page. I'll post the same thing on my company page. Other times I'll post something just specifically to do with part of the industry that I'm in on the company page. Um, again, I would be posting on the company page at least once a week. Keep in mind, people can follow your company page and not necessarily connect with you. Yeah, can you see, how do I manage emails coming in? I don't want to be swamped, which is what I found years ago. I only want relevant people messaging me, messaging me regarding business. Um, okay, let's have a look. Hopefully, let's have a look at this messaging one that I have. 
Okay, that's a lady that I connected with yesterday. Um, what I would do is I would look through and see what you have, why would they want to connect with you? Have a look at if you have a shared connection. That's generally what I look for. If I have a shared connection, I will connect. All right, but you really need to build up over 500 connections before you start being picky. It's keep in mind with it. I mean, obviously, if they're from India, you're probably not going to connect with them. All right, but it's not necessarily the connections. It's their connections is who you're going to end up connecting with. All right, it's a slow process, but you need to build it. Lucy asks, how do you connect with someone when their setting doesn't allow, e.g. your account, there is no connect button? Okay, um, is it okay to send a message ask to connect? Absolutely. Oh, ignore last comment, just saw the, the more button. Yep. Send them a message. Say, look, I noticed that you don't have a connect button. I'd love to connect with you. And because, remember in my when I went through and I said, always put because, you tend to get a better connection or a better uh, conversion rate. Okay, so Cassie tells me that she's in travel specializing in India, Sri Lanka, creating tours with the well-being industry, yoga, arts, meditation, well-being. Okay, so when you look at that and you look at your industry, is it travel agents that you're looking for? Is it tour guides that you're looking for? Is it yoga teachers that you're looking for? Um, have a think about who your clients are and who your target market is. Anybody that wants to go to those countries. Look at women's groups. Now, obviously at the moment with COVID, that's really difficult, but that doesn't stop you from selling the dream of what you can do and building those relationships. You know, I would be building things like talking about a different tour that you've previously done. And in talking about that tour, going, these are the problems that, that, that occurred. This is what happened. This is how I solved that problem. All right. Anything to create engagement. Ask even on this platform. Would you would you travel to India or yeah, would you travel to India without without a travel agent? Have you ever traveled to India without a travel agent? What is your favorite place in India? I mean, one of the places in India I've always wanted to go is to Gobi. Okay, you know, then write information about India. You know, write information in regards to what you should be packing. How much money should you take with you to India? All this type of information. If, if I, you were saying to me, you and I were sitting and having a cup of coffee, and I said to you, Kissy, what do I take to India? Does it, you know, does it ever get cold? Well, I know it's nice in winter and parts of it, you know, but does it get cold? Do I need to make sure that I can't be pickpocketed? What, what is the protocol in regards for women? Do I have to have my head covered? All this information, is it safe? Is it safe for a woman to go on her own? Check and think about your market. And then work those, those funnels into the market, into what you post and your content that you post. Your content is about your user experience. So it's about why would I read your post? Because India is somewhere I've always wanted to go. Or perhaps my dream is Sri Lanka because it, it, it's my impression is Sri Lanka is one step up from India. You know, is it safe to go there? This is what I want to know. When do you think we will be able to ever go back and travel again? If we can't travel, is there some videos that I can see on different on these different countries that you support, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Think about the content that you can offer for free, but also think about copyright. So if you've got your own videos and things like that, that would be perfect. Chris, okay. Um, are there any success stories where LinkedIn has made a difference in business? You're kidding, right? You've got 8 million people on LinkedIn. If you can't make a success story out of connecting with people on LinkedIn, there's something wrong. But I will give you one from my perspective. I have, let me go back and show you. I've been working with ASBAS for two years. And 
There's lots of different advisors on ASVAB. I'm just going to my recommendations. When I've done um, a couple, this gentleman here, Mike Quinlan, got in touch with me. Now, he's in marketing in the insurance world, and he said to me, would you come and teach um, some LinkedIn classes for me? And I said, yes, not a problem at all. All right. Since then, he's given me eight clients that, that in value is over $10,000. Now, if I hadn't have been on LinkedIn, I wouldn't have got those. If I hadn't gone through and studied LinkedIn, I wouldn't have got that. All right. You can't tell me with 8 million Australian people on LinkedIn that you can't make a success. It's more personal than you will ever find on any other social medium. Did I get passionate? I think so. Okay, next question. Okay, so Cassie is saying, no, it's leaders in yoga, arts, well-being. I know who they are. Okay, great. So to actually find them, do I just look up yoga, for example? That is more the query. Let's have a look. So if we type in yoga Australian, there you go, Yoga Australia is one of the ones that I would go to. I would contact all these people to see who you can get into. Um, I would have a look at uh, wellbeing instructor. You're just going to have to play around here and see who you can find. Like here's one in Sydney, mental health at wellbeing instructor for corporate and the community. Play around with different words and see what comes up for you. All right, okay, next question, or I might be in, oh, I'm at the end of it. Okay, guys, we've still got about 10 minutes to go. Do I have any more questions? Post in the chat channel for me. This is a great source on LinkedIn where you can look for people. You can go through and look at the connections that you have in common, whether it's the first connection, this is this here, first, second or third connection. You can do it by location. Uh, you can do it, you can go back and search through companies groups a group might be better for you so if we look at wellness so here we've come in through industry and it's given us some other guidelines what it's also doing for you even if you can't find a connection on it they're putting up posts that you can share Okay, so Lucy has asked, when someone is a third connection, how can you see how they are connected to us? Um, that's a really good question. Let me see if I can find something. I'll put in social media and see where I can find them and I'll show you. It's third degree, obviously. Um, let me put in Australia. Okay, so this Vanessa Rankin is second. I can tell that these are the shared connections here. Um, if they are third, let's look at people. Connections, go third, show results. It'll tell you when you go third. Um, no, it doesn't tell you. It'll only go two, not three. It'll just tell you that there's somebody that you know that's... Um... Oh, okay, so I just clicked on this Madison, Madison Woolley and it's telling me I've got two connections that are um, we connect with, but won't tell me who they are as a third connection. No, it won't tell you who the mutual contact is. It will just say that you have somebody in common until you connect. Yes, you can see second connection. Yep, absolutely. And that's great because second connections, what that allows you to do, if I go back to two, here's some more leads for you guys. 
these all second connections and you can see who you have a shared connection with. So start using them for your sales leads. All right, okay. Alison has asked, just a general social media question. Is there a platform that you would recommend to schedule your social media posts? I'm currently posting to Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, our website and Google My Business pages. I need to find a way to save some time. 100%. There are lots. Look, it not for your website. If you're looking at your blog, you have to post directly for your blog. However, all the others, the one that I use is Publa. And if you want to know about public, connect with me and I'll let you know. Um, but there's Hootsuite, there's Buffer. Be a little bit careful with Instagram. There's some of them that Instagram doesn't really work that well, but later works okay with Instagram. Just be careful because sometimes I have noticed it won't post. But there's many that you can use. But have a look at Publa. I'm quite impressed with Publa. Um, and, you know, for me, because I deal with clients that need to see the posts as well, they can get in there and see them. Um, but you're right, it takes hours. So that, that's a good way. Use Publa. Right, I'll show you Publa actually so you can see what's going on. This is Publa here. So in here I can do my calendar. Now this I've got Facebook. For me, I've got Facebook for my company Dash Social. I've got Instagram and LinkedIn. And this will tell me here, oh, those are the ones that are posted. Let's go to August. So it will show here which is LinkedIn, which is Facebook. Um, I've still obviously for, got to do, I don't put, actually I don't put um, Instagram in here because we match it differently. Um, we're working on a different one for the moment. But I also put Google My Business in here as well. All right, and so you can do your posts. What it also has in here, which is good, is a content. So it, you can say Australia. Um, the category I want to look at is business. You can view it and it will show you all these things relating to business that you can share. All right. Um, and this, this will save you time as well. Or perhaps you want to put in something Um, maybe we want to put in here, not business, what's general. You. So we can look in here at different controvers controversial things, things like that, that you can look at. Um, if I look in here, Say, uh, it's going to be look in health, because some of you will be in health. But if you want to get on this, let me know, because if I put you in, I get a discount. And then if you recommend people after that, you'll get a discount. Um, again, this is in regards to health. And you can see it will give you different, different options. The same happens when we go back to social media. We go in here and we go to, you can also have learning in here. You've got groups. Groups are another great way to find leads and get make connections. So we've got Small Business Australia, uh, Strategic Social Media Marketing. These are all the groups that I'm in. I can create a group should I wish to. All right, and all of these will help me in getting contact content. Told you I've got a mouthful at the moment. All right, so that's what happens there. Any last questions before we go? And hopefully I've answered your public question. No, come on guys, you've got five minutes. Anything else? Anything else that you'd like to know, especially on LinkedIn?
On behalf of Base Base Digital Solutions, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. I'm Kay Ridge from Dash Social. Bye for now.